Hey everybody, we're going to just do one thing today and that is talk about why you'd want a channel strip instead of just using the default Logic plugins. It's a great question. Here we have the Ultra Channel from Eventide. A couple years ago when uh, this was first coming out, they were doing a promotion where they were giving it away for free. Uh, I was able to pick it up at that time, so it's actually just one of those things that because I got it for free, I don't think I've really used it to its full potential over the years. Uh, it is definitely coming out of my toolbox this year, and the reason is because it not only sounds good, it has some of the features I like, but it does something as a channel strip, which is really cool. It allows you to have one plugin instead of a whole bunch of different plugins. Now let's look at why this is a channel strip, what that means, and uh, we'll talk about perhaps some of the other channel strips that are out there, they're all very similar. Essentially what we have are a bunch of different tools all in one place, things that really control dynamics, levels, we have equalization, we have compression, and in this case we have delays and a little bit of micro pitch shift all in one little package. Now I went through Logic and I essentially pulled plugins on another channel strip which are the equivalent of each of these, pretty close. And we have gain, gate, compression, deesser, channel EQ, another compression tool because this has two, a stereo spread, which is uh, kind of like the micro pitch shift, stereo delay, and then a distortion unit, which is really in two places here. We have a saturation tool for tubes and then a, the X former, which is like a transformer distortion over on the output. All of that is the equivalent of this whole signal chain right here, all in one. So right away you can see there's some efficiency there. Now, do they sound the same? No, of course not. They're all going to be a little bit different. Every plugin is. And so sometimes you're going to want to go to some of the Logic tools, and sometimes you're going to want to come to this. The EQ, for instance, a lot of times I find myself using the uh, linear phase EQ in Logic, which I really like for some things, and this is not a linear phase type EQ. Uh, I think that this distortion, this type of saturation and uh, transformer uh, distortion are really pleasant in some ways, and we don't have something exactly like that in Logic. It's not as easy to get there right off the bat. The micro pitch shift is something totally different in some ways, um, but a delay is a delay for the most part, and we have great delays in Logic. So it's just back and forth, but it's a really cool way to have a lot of stuff happening in one interface. The other really cool thing is with this one, I can click and drag these things around. So it changes the, the signal flow of the whole plugin. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, that's really it in terms of processing here. Just uh, ignore the sound for a second because I don't have any of them set. But here's this plugin, the Eventide Ultra Channel. It's hanging out pretty low, but it's there for sure. Let's turn on this one. And again, not set very well, but you can see it's hitting about the same place. So neither one of these is significantly more than the other at least on this system. Okay, that's all I really want to talk about today, the benefits of using a channel strip instead of all the individual plugins. You can really do it either way. There's really no right or wrong with this. Cool. See you tomorrow.